What's up everyone? ADI Samurai here. Um, first off I wanted to just say uh, I hope everybody had an awesome Thanksgiving. hope you got to, to have some good time with your uh, family and friends and uh, eat some good food and just kind of chill out for a while. Um, that's kind of what I did um, and it was a it was a pretty relaxing day. Um, for this video it's actually going to be, I'm going to do two parts um, just because I picked up quite a bit of stuff but this is going to be for 50% uh, off sale that my LCS had um, this last weekend. Um, I picked up quite a few books. Um, you know, nothing super major, but uh, you know, I, f I feel like I, I had got some some good value and uh, picked up a bunch of books that I wanted. Um, most of them were only a couple bucks a piece. Uh, for the for the background uh, that I picked today, um, I just threw up some magazines that I have. Uh, the Comics Journal number 70 over here. I actually got that at the 50% off sale this weekend. Um, I was just kind of like flipping through and uh, saw this cover and was kind of blown away by it. <laughs> I'd never seen it before. And I, and I looked it up. It's not, I don't think it's, it's not really worth a whole lot, but uh, it's a Frank Miller cover. Uh, this is from 1982 um, and it's got an interview with Frank Miller in it. I thought the image was just really, really awesome. Uh, super cool cover and it was only a few bucks. So, I mean, I had to pick it up. Um, and I, I, I absolutely love Daredevil. And actually, all the characters that you see up here, are I'm a big fan of all of them, uh, yeah, collecting runs of them or, or books with them. Uh, this Rampaging Hulk number three, I showed this in my last video for uh, Alex the Comic Hoarder uh, for his 200 sub contest. Um, and, and if you guys haven't checked that out, definitely go check him out. Uh, the sooner you do a video entry, uh, the more opportunities you get to win. Um, and as time goes on and it gets closer to the deadline, the fewer you get. So definitely go check him out. Super cool channel. Um, and uh, submit an entry to his contest. Um, this one uh, over here, this book over here on the right is uh, Daily Hands of Kung Fu, number 29. Absolutely love this cover. Big fan of Shang chi and Iron Fist. Uh, just super cool colors and uh, just a really really cool image um, yeah but so those are actually the only three magazines that I have but they're all awesome covers and I, love, I like them a lot so um, really don't want this video to go too long like I said I'm gonna split up into two so let's get to the books uh, this one here is uh, Captain America special edition number one uh, this is a reprint of Captain America number 110 uh, Starenko cover, super classic cover. Uh, absolutely love this image. Uh, it's I definitely want to get Captain America 110 um, in a nice grade to put on my wall. Um, always looking out for it. Um, but I mostly bought this one to just because uh, the cover is awesome, but also just to read the story. The next one here is the New Avengers number 11. Um, this, I believe this came out in like 2005, this is the first appearance of Ronin, not Ronin the Accuser that you saw in Guardians of the Galaxy, different Ronin. Um, this is a David Finch cover, absolutely love it, don't really know anything about this character, but, um, but was, but really looking forward to, uh, to reading his first appearance, and, uh, kind of seeing what it's all about. Thought that cover was just sick. Um, guy looks like a badass. Next one here, this is uh, Catwoman number 65. This is an Adam Hughes cover. Um, super nice cover. Uh, Adam Hughes has some, some pretty amazing artwork. Um, and I couldn't pass it up. Super nice. It's, you know, it's a nice high grade. It's, um, it's a really nice cover. The next one here, Catwoman number 76, another Adam Hughes cover. Uh, really, really like this one. Love the image, love the colors. Uh, just a crazy you know, kind of cartoony, realistic kind of, uh, kind of cover, um, and, uh, definitely had to pick this one up, you know, I mean, all these books, like, you know, are, were a couple bucks a piece, so, um, I was kind of just having fun, I really just ended up, uh, I was there for about three hours, and I was just digging, I was just relaxed and digging for books, uh, and I normally don't get to do that, um, but it was a lot of fun, um, just kind of going through all their long boxes. This one here is, uh, Liberty Comics, uh, number one, this is a J. Scott Campbell cover, um, that was awesome. Couldn't pass it up for a couple bucks. Um, it does have a couple of spine ticks on the side, and there's like a little dent up here. I mean, those would press out. I, I probably would never get it pressed, but, um, but, you know, had to pick it up. Thought it was a, a, a cool camera cover. Next one here, I got Danger Girl 3D Special. This is Jason, another J. Scott Campbell cover. 
um, it had the 3D glasses. When I was flipping through, I saw this. I, I, I had to grab it. I mean, I thought it was just cool. And just the 3D glasses, uh, you know, and kind of going through it and seeing it 3D is pretty cool. Uh, so I definitely had to pack, pick this one up. Uh, it's got a couple of spine ticks on the side, too. Like, really, really mild ones uh, or minor ones. But, uh, but yeah, another cool cover. Uh, this one here, um, this is Batman Gotham Knights number 36. Uh, Brian Bolin cover, absolutely love this cover, and I'm really, really kind of, I'm digging his artwork. Uh, Brian Bolin, I, I've liked him for a while, like, there's, a, I like his style, but I've never really had any of his books, um, and so I was kind of like, there's another book I'll show here in a little bit, um, but that kind of caught my eye, and to, to really dig in and kind of look at other stuff that he's done. I really like his details, um, he's really good with animals, um, and textures, um, and so I picked this one because I thought the cover was awesome. Uh, so and I looked up this this character because I was like, who is this? And I guess this is Pix. I never heard of Pix before. Um, but essentially, she's a tattoo artist that uh, I think she infused like nanobots into her ink, and so they can actually come alive. Like you can see the snakes back here. So she can she can like summon creatures and weapons and stuff like that, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool, and I kind of wanted to read about her. So um, the next book here is Batman Gotham Knights number 34, which is her first appearance. Um, so kind of looking forward to reading this just to kind of see a little bit more about her. Um, I thought this was a really cool cover, too. Uh, another uh, Brian Bolin cover. Um, really cool with details. He uses a lot of lines, like especially in the shading and stuff like that, um, and, and usually has, has pretty solid covers or colors. Um, that he uses, so I uh, I really like this one. Uh, more Brian Boland. I picked up Camelot 3000, uh, number five. Thought this was a really really nice cover. Tons of detail on here. Really nice image. Uh, absolutely love the color. Um, again, he does these crazy little creatures, and he does animals, and and just has some really good shading and detail work. Um, so I had to pick that one up. I thought that was a super sweet cover. Uh, the next one here, this is the one that caught my eye that kind of made me look more into Brian Bolin. He's really well known for Judge Dredd. Uh, this is Judge Dredd number four. Came out in the early 80s. Uh, absolutely love this cover. I mean, this is probably my... I mean, it's hard to say. I got a lot of cool covers, I think, but I, I love this cover. Um, I love the scale of how giant this thing is and then how Judge Dredd's just down here on the bottom. Um, just, just there is so much detail in here. If you ever get a chance to look at this cover... Um, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. Uh, you know, you got body parts within this giant crazy plant. You got skulls down here. Uh, just all these vines and the thorns and eyeballs. Uh, and the colors are just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this is a really nice grade book, too. Um, I kind of want to send in some books to get graded, but I might send this in just because I love the cover so much just to put it up on my wall. Um, absolutely love that. Uh, couldn't pass it up. The next one here is another Judge Dredd, number uh, 20. Um, again, um, I really like the image. Really great colors, very similar to the last color palette on the last book. Um, you know, and he does—he has a lot of really good line work and good detail work. I um, just thought that was a super, super nice cover too. Really love his artwork. Really do. I'm, it's going to be fun, kind of like going through and, and searching for more. And this is another well-known Brian Bolin. Um, I paid a little more than two bucks for this one, but it wasn't much more. This is uh, uh, Batman the Killing Joke. Um, I actually didn't have a copy of this. This is, I believe, the sixth printing. Uh, it's in super nice shape. Um, you know, it's probably like a 9.6. I'm actually curious if anybody knows um, what the print runs are on the different printings. I mean, I know that I think there's like, what, 14 printings or something now. And I don't know if they did like a, you know, a flat X amount for each printing or what, but... You know, I'm just, it's more a curiosity. I, I, I more picked this up just because of the, because of the story and, uh, you know, another sweet Brian Bolin cover. Uh, another book that I picked up, uh, just Dead Man number one. This is a Neil Adams cover. Uh, it was in solid shape. It's not really worth a whole lot, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to, to, to get it, you know, for a couple bucks and, and just dig in and read it. thought it was a cool cover. Good colors. You know, thought it'd be, thought it'd be cool. Uh, this next one here, uh, Super Size Annual X-Men uh, number 12. Um, I don't believe this goes for a whole lot, uh, but 
but I had to pick it up. It's in super, super nice high grade. It, it, like a 9.6, maybe a 9.8. Um, and for a couple bucks, I really, I really couldn't pass it up. Um, it's a really, really nice Art Adams cover, or Arthur Adams, and uh, yeah, I thought it, I thought it was cool. So I had, definitely had to pick it up. Super clean. Next one here. I only have a few more left. Like I said, I want to kind of keep this somewhat short. Um, this one here is Digital Webbing Presents number five. I believe this came out in like 2002. Um, Eric Powell cover. Uh, this is like one of the earlier appearances of, of the goon. Um, really like this cover. It's got like a three page story, um, goon story in there, and then it's got a bunch of other like little stories. But um, I didn't have this one, this uh, goon appearance, so I thought I'd pick it up. And it was this one was a little more than a couple bucks, but it, you know it wasn't too bad. I uh, picked up uh, Star Wars number eight. Um, there's a lot of first appearances in here. I think a lot of them are just real minor appearances. All of them probably are. Um, but this is a nice. It's like a nine four um, grade. Really, really like this cover. Um, it's also it's got the it's got the first appearance of Jackson over here. Um, and there, like I said, there's a lot of first appearances, but you know I couldn't pass it up. Uh, especially in this grade uh, at the and at the price so really glad to add that one to my collection and then we got two more books I picked up Uncanny X-Men number 261 uh, always love this Jim Lee cover um, just a just a really solid cover um, you know Wolverine kind of going crazy in the background uh, and so uh, you know, this one was like three, it was like three bucks, so I had to pick it up. And it's in really, really nice shape. I mean, there's like one minor spine tick on the side, but otherwise it's like super sharp and really clean. And the last book here, always love this cover, always wanted to pick up a copy of it. This is a uh, Uncanny uh, X-Men 205, uh, Barry Windsor Smith cover. Uh, just absolutely love the image on here. Um, just super gorgeous colors, that purple and pink and red. Um, Super happy to pick this one I, uh, up. Like I said, I really love this cover. Um, and, it's, and it's in super nice shape, too. It's got, like, one little spine tick over here, and there's kind of some stuff going on up here. This is one that would, if it pressed, that, you know, if I got it pressed or something, it would it would be a nice high grade. Um, and I got this for five bucks. So um, that's it for part one of this. Um, I, I have another stack of books, probably about the same size, maybe a little bit more. Um, there's some, uh, some older stuff in there and there's some, I got some variants too. I was I, like near the end of the, my time there flipping through books, I was kind of just hunting for variants. Um, so, uh, so I'll get that one going pretty soon. Uh, hope you guys enjoy and, uh, have a good one. Cheers.